Shire spent the last few months looking for singers. When he heard UK Apache, he decided to use him on his new release, Original Nutter. Apache is passionate about the music, as it symbolises for him the coming of age of Black Britain. The jungle, because it's from, from, from England, right, I can really relate to it. It's important to me because I'm born here. I'm from England and London, and nobody can't tell me that um, I'm not from here. It's like, I think one time I was going around, I was like, ashamed of being British. Yeah, we've got Woolworths, Marks and Spencers, Sparks. And it's like the jungle has drawn me back into my roots, where I'm from. Because though my, my parents are from, like, I'm half Arab, half Asian, African, I can, I, I, I can relate to, to those countries only up to a point. Like, when I talk to my children or whatever, I can't talk to them about Africa. I can't talk to them about where my dad's from, because my life has not been there. My life has been in England, London. I have to talk to them about Balham, Tootin, where I'm from. So if you're born in England, be proud of it. And don't make nobody tell you no different, no BMP or anything like that. Give us over the voice. Pretty brown eyes, you know I see them. The jungle is British, and I can really relate to it, you know? And it's our music. It's a disguise, the way you treat me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, that. your pretty brown eyes keep on digging. Sure, man. That's the real. There's the contract. The contract there. What you saying, man? What you doing? You saying, Sam, man? Oh gosh. <laughs> what's happening with there? Boy, here yeah, you know. How's the news today? Yeah, you know. yeah, what's selling, man? What's selling? What's selling? Jungle it. Jungle it. Push it up in there, man. Push it up in there. Tell the people then. What's going on? That's going on. Hey, I want you to take note of that name, man. You see that name, man? UK Apache. Oh my gosh, man. Thousands of copies of original Nutter were sold on pre-release before it officially hit the shops. Jungle music appeals to both black and white, and some argue it represents a broader notion of Britishness. Oh man, I didn't know it was you at all. Yeah, yeah. It goes back to my argument about the redefinition of Britishness, a sense of Britishness, the British nation and British culture. For the first time, you're probably seeing all of those things being redefined on black terms. That in itself is a radical departure from what you've witnessed before. Um, UK Patchy's voice ain't there. For Shire, the long process of getting his single Gangster 2 out on the streets continues. It's past midnight, the machinery is playing up, and everyone's tired. Fortunately, Rodney is still firing. <laughs> Shy has invited DJ Ash from Pirate Radio Station, Cool FM, to listen to the studio session in the hope that he'll give the tune essential pre-publicity. Ash was impressed. Gangster 2, it'll be a hit. It'll be a hit because it'll, it'll get the right publicity. It'll go through the right channels. I think it'll do very well. Um, and also any future stuff that Shire does as well will do very well. DJs are the power brokers on the jungle scene. Charging up to £300 an hour, they can make or break musicians. Well, for us, we're the jungle DJs who are running it now. All of us have got labels now, we're running our own music, we're making our own music, so to a certain extent we're dictating what's happening. A lot of music doesn't get through unless we play it, the, the top 20 DJs. If we're not playing it, it you know, it doesn't matter how good a track is, you know. Armed with the confidence that DJ Ash will promote his tune, Shy is off to have a dub plate cut for him. Okay, so what speed are we cutting at? 45. 45, okay. Costing 30 pounds, a dub plate is a limited edition record. Artists and DJs press them to test public reaction to a tune before its release. 
They're a key feature of the jungle scene. On this particular scene, we play them to get a reaction. They're like stuff that isn't coming out for a while. Just, it's a tester. What do you think of this? If you like it, cut it, get a reaction and let me know. That is what a dub play is meant to be for. If you're a DJ and I'm a DJ and you go to a record shop, you can buy exactly what I can buy. So how are we going to be different? Now, if you could get certain dub plates and I could get certain dub plates, that's a chance for me to prove my style against yours. Yours isn't going to be the same as mine. What's happening? Oh, you're right. I'm all right. Very good. Got some good bits in today if you want some. And the certain way to get through to the DJs is through giving them a dub plate. That's the best way for them to play it. Of course, Fabian Groove, I'd play something, everyone listens to it. You know, everybody wants it. It creates a buzz on the track, and that's how it sort of snowballs into something that's wanted. You good? Do some shopping? Yeah. This guy's come all the way from Canada to get his vinyl. The DJs are the ones who influence any scene any scene and the artists now because most of the music you hear you won't see live pas for this jungle apart from levy they have to buy the records the vinyl and the djs are playing the vinyl so it's down to the djs to influence the music they can either kill it or take it somewhere else yeah i'll mix this one for you because i like you so much you're such a good DJ. the close-knit <laughs> dj fraternity is suspicious of jungle's imminent explosion into the mainstream hey, what's happening guys Right, easy. Yeah. Right, right time. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a youthful music, and it's not for the charts. You know, it's it's our music, and we built it. You know what I mean? And I don't want to see all the major people jumping on it. And, and exploiting it, you know. People have tried to cross it over into the mainstream, and for me, that just loses the whole flavour and the idea of the music. You know, it's an underground vibe. That's the way it should stay. Do you know what I mean? Everybody takes a beat. As you take a right to, reaching out to all original gangster girls. True to the spirit of jungle, last week Shy turned down a six-figure sum for a contract from one of the major record companies. Instead, he's releasing his tunes through a small independent label, Sounds of the Underground, who have promised him greater artistic control. Virtually all jungle is still marketed through small independents. I think the important thing with independent companies in the UK, is, well, ourselves especially, is that we go 50-50 with the artist, right across the board. So he will come in, he will make the music, and we will incur the expense of manufacturing and promoting that music and at the end of the day we'll split it 50 50. whereas if he signs with a major he may get 12 to 14 percent of the retail maybe in our contracts our artists have the final say on mixes on artwork on remixes on anything and that's very important for us because with something like jungle you have to treat it with a bit more respect and, and let it grow naturally and the artists grow naturally Okay. I, I think even if you spoke to the majors, they don't really care. They'll tell you that they don't care, really, at the end of the day. You know, as long as they can make money off you, that's all that really matters. A lot of people are weary, they know, you know, even from people like George Michael, if you see him kind of, like, getting distressed by his record company, you can imagine. And he's one of the biggest artists of all kinds of music in the world. Do you know what I mean? And from little boys from Brixton or, or wherever, they know that it's going to get manipulated. At the end of the day, I just think that I hope a lot of them ain't silly enough to kind of not get anything out of it themselves. <laughs>